Pluto and Neptune. Could a cosmic collision be looming? Pluto, a distant, faint, and once official member of our solar system, has long hovered on the fringe of astronomical curiosity. Though reclassified as a dwarf planet, it still holds the fascination of scientists and sky watchers alike. Recently, Pluto has returned to the spotlight due to startling claims made by renowned astrophysicists Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku. They propose a bold idea. Pluto may be on a potential collision course with Neptune, but how could such a massive event even be possible? And what would the consequences be if it were to happen? Are we misinterpreting a complex oral quirk, or is there more to this looming cosmic encounter? Join us as we explore the science and speculation behind a potential Pluto-Neptune collision, Pluto's peculiar orbit. Pluto's orbit is unlike that of any major planet in our solar system. Since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has yet to complete a full revolution around the Sun. It takes a staggering 248 Earth years to do so. Its orbital path is highly elliptical and tilted about 17 degrees to the ecliptic plane, making it stand out from the nearly circular and more aligned orbits of the other planets. One of the most intriguing aspects of Pluto's orbit is its overlap with Neptune's. For roughly 20 years during each orbit, Pluto actually comes closer to the Sun than Neptune, an arranger that seems like a recipe for disaster. So, why hasn't a collision ever occurred? Why Pluto hasn't crashed into Neptune? The answer lies in the complex dance of gravitational forces that govern our solar system. Though Pluto's orbit intersects Neptune's, a precise orbital resonance ensures they never come too close. Specifically, Pluto and Neptune are locked in a 3 colon 2 mean motion resonance, meaning Pluto completes two orbits for every three of Neptune's. This orbital relationship keeps them at a safe distance, even when their paths cross. Astrophysicists have studied this dynamic using principles from celestial mechanics, such as non-simultaneous vibration, this term refers to the fact that when Pluto is at the point in its orbit where it crosses Neptune's path, Neptune is always at a different point, at least 90 degrees away. This spatial separation is key in preventing a collision. Orbital precession. Pluto's orbit gradually shifts over time. When it's closest to Neptune, it's also positioned well above or below Neptune's orbital plane, adding another layer of safety. VZK wobbling. Named after researcher Zell... Kai and Kaku, this concept describes a gravitational interplay between Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun. It explains the irregular but stable nature of Pluto's motion, showing that despite seeming chaos, there's a hidden order at work. So, is a collision possible? While the idea of a Pluto-Neptune collision is dramatic and headline-grabbing, the current scientific consensus suggests it's extremely unlikely. The gravitational safeguards in place resonance, inclination, and spatial timing act like a cosmic buffer zone. Still, the conversation sparked by Tyson and Kaku invites us to look more closely at the astonishing complexity of our solar system. It serves as a reminder that space is dynamic and ever-changing, and even long-established celestial relationships are worthy of continued study. Gravitational forces play a crucial role in maintaining Pluto's orbital stability preventing it from colliding with Neptune or drifting out of its path. This dynamic is an example of the three-body problem, a concept that explores how celestial objects influence one another's trajectories through gravitational interaction. Studying this phenomenon not only deepens our understanding of Pluto's motion, but also sheds light on the behavior of our solar system and even distant galaxies. In the late 1980s, mathematical simulations revealed that although Pluto's orbit appears stable, it is actually quite sensitive to initial conditions. Minor variations in its starting position or velocity can result in dramatically different orbital paths over hundreds of years. Despite this apparent chaos, long-term simulations show that Pluto's orbit remains remarkably stable across billions of years, suggesting an underlying equilibrium sustained by complex gravitational interactions. One key factor in this stability is Pluto's special orbital relationship with Neptune, for every two orbits Pluto completes around the Sun, Neptune completes three. This orbital resonance prevents the two bodies from ever coming too close, acting as a protective mechanism. However, Neptune isn't the only player influencing Pluto's journey. 
The massive gravitational forces of Jupiter and Saturn also play vital roles in stabilizing Pluto's orbit. Jupiter's immense gravity, in particular, helps maintain long-term order, while Saturn adds further balance to the celestial dance. These interactions underscore the delicate balance that keeps the solar system functioning as it does. Without such gravitational safeguards, bodies like Pluto could risk colliding with other planets or being ejected from the solar system altogether, triggering cascading disruptions across space. Understanding the intricacies of Pluto's orbit, especially concerns about possible future encounters with Neptune, is critical to grasping the dynamic structure of our cosmic neighborhood. Pluto serves as a prime example of how even seemingly chaotic orbits can achieve stability through gravitational resonance and orbital mechanics. This highlights the necessity of continuous observation and study to better comprehend the intricate systems that govern celestial motion. The concept of orbital chaos, where small differences in a body's position or speed can lead to vastly different outcomes, is clearly demonstrated in Pluto's case. Automated simulations have become essential tools for researchers, allowing them to model gravitational interactions with high precision. By tweaking tiny variables in these models, scientists can observe how slight changes result in major shifts in Pluto's path. These studies confirm that while Pluto's orbit can behave unpredictably over short timescales, it retains a long-term order thanks to its resonances and stabilizing interactions. Interestingly, those 1980 simulations also reveal peculiar traits in Pluto's orbit, such as asynchronous oscillation and orbital precession. These features contribute to its stability, yet also show how easy the orbit could diverge with even a tiny change. Despite this, Pluto's path around the Sun has proven to be consistently stable over astronomical time periods. Ultimately, Pluto reminds us how the universe operates in both predictable and chaotic ways. Predicting the future movements of celestial bodies, especially ones with irregular orbits like Pluto's, is extremely challenging. Mathematical models, while powerful, are highly dependent on the accuracy of initial inputs. Even the smallest errors can lead to vastly different results, highlighting the limitations of our predictive abilities. Still, by studying anomalies like Pluto, we gain valuable insights into mechanics of our universe. These lessons not only expand our scientific understanding, but also reinforce the beauty and complexity of the cosmic order. The universe is constantly evolving, and despite the remarkable strides we've made in understanding space, Pluto's story reminds us of just how much remains unknown. Studying the gravitational influence of the giant planets on Pluto's orbit sheds light on the intricate dynamics of our solar system. It highlights how each planet's position and mass can significantly affect the movement and stability of other celestial bodies. This raises compelling question. Why are top astrophysicists now voicing concerns about a possible collision between Pluto and Neptune? While the complex interplay of gravitational forces generally prevents such catastrophes, Neil deGrasse Tyson, renowned astrophysicist and one of the key figures in redefining Pluto's status, brings a thought-provoking perspective to the conversation. Tyson, who played a central role in Pluto's reclassification from a planet to a dwarf planet, sees this change not as a demotion, but as a necessary refinement of our understanding of the solar system. His approach to celestial mechanics is grounded in the idea that our knowledge is constantly evolving. Pluto's orbit, with its eccentric path and interaction with Neptune, serves as a striking example of the complexities yet to be fully understood. Although Tyson remains optimistic about humanity's growing grasp of the cosmos, he also expresses caution. He acknowledges that Pluto's orbit has remained relatively stable so far, but small, gradual shifts, known as orbital perturbations, could, over millions of years, alter its trajectory in unforeseen ways. In his view, even minor changes in orbital patterns can compound over time, potentially leading to a future where Pluto's path dangerously intersects with Neptune's. However, any such scenario would unfold over an astronomical timescale, far beyond human lifespans. Still, Tyson's warning underscores the importance of ongoing observation and study of planetary orbits, especially those as unusual as Pluto's. He is not alone in raising these concerns. Theoretical physicist Michio Kaku also explores the possibility of long-term instability in the solar system. Like Tyson... Kaku is captivated by the wonders of the universe 
yet remains mindful of the unpredictable consequences that can arise from planetary interactions. Both scientists emphasize the need for continued research into forces that shape planetary motion and the long-term fate of our solar neighborhood. Pluto's case, in particular, illustrates how scientific understanding is always in flux and how each discovery often leads to even deeper questions. Ultimately, the potential for a Pluto-Neptune collision serves as a powerful reminder the universe is full of surprises, and what appears stable today may shift tomorrow. As we advance our exploration of space, we must stay vigilant, curious, and open to the mysteries that still lie ahead.